All right, folks, today we got ourselves a Mars Williams and um, do I have your consent to publicly post this on YouTube? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> um, you, uh, something that I really love about you is that you are so inspiring towards advocating women's rights. Yes. And it's very freeing to see you posting things on Facebook that literally change your mind about the female form. So you inspired me to go topless outside and take a photo like not facing the camera yeah. because you <laughs> did that. <laughs> so you're you're helping women everywhere like branch out and know that like their body's a body and it's not something to be looked at in a lustful way. Yeah. Yeah. So love ya for that and I would like to know how your life being nurtured and versus your environment like how did that cultivate you as the person that you are today um so I mean I always had a pretty like supportive family whatever you know they were like accepting of me I've always been like pretty weird <laughs> and <laughs> um I I don't know like my parents weren't LDS but the rest of my family were LDS okay. and but even then, they were never, like, super controlling, like, oh, you have to be this way, you're going to hell, you Whoa, know? Whoa, yeah. They were still, like, super, they're just kind people, you know? Like, yeah. So, um, I don't know, that helped. And then, like, growing up in junior high, I had a really great group of friends cool. that were just, like, awesome. And we were just, I don't know, kind of like the runners of the town. Yeah. Being, like, as weird and ridiculous as we possibly can. And I've always been kind of, like... I don't know. I, I've never liked rules, and I hate being told what to do. And you're, I, you are a rebel, for yeah. sure. And, I mean, this is why you're so inspiring is because you are breaking the norms, okay? <laughs> and we all women everywhere, like, I'm speaking on behalf of all of us, we all want to thank you for doing so much to empower yourself because you're empowering all of us. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's what I hope to do. And, you know, I don't really, like, consider myself a feminist or anything because I right. believe in... Right, let's not. E that yeah. word is kind of tainted. It, yeah. You know, there's a lot of hatred in that, so I'm glad that you are you feel the same way. Yeah. yeah, totally. I just believe in <laughs> equality, and I think that if guys can go topless and walk around, then girls should be able to go topless just because we have, like, a little bit of fat in our boobs <laughs> doesn't really make the... Nip like, it's, it's literally the same nipple. It's the same thing. You're, when you're born, you... You... It's like what a baby right gets milk from it's nurturing and like i can understand if you're having sex it's a sexual thing but like it doesn't happen but to so be. are guys nips yeah. i would motorboat the shit out of some movies <laughs> yeah totally okay i know how to object objectify yeah. and you can but the thing is that women do have a natural ability to empathize because we create mm -hmm. life um with you know the man's help of course um but we just have to except the fact that we are built in a way that helps us want to be more empathetic but men are also built to be more empathetic towards their woman I feel yeah. like or you know their husband <laughs> totally <laughs> totally yeah I don't know I think that we're evolving as people and um we need to like realize that equality is a huge thing I mean there's so much like emotional pain body in women over since like people have existed men have been atrocious to women and like yeah it's just oh. it's really sickening and like so you can understand why women have a hard time trusting men even I mean there are so many good men out there and there are so many good people in yeah. general and like I just want to be somebody who spreads love and positivity and like helps people see the bright side of things because it's really easy to get stuck in like a mindset where you only see darkness and you only see bad things because you have had so many experiences it's only logical to think well my past will predict the future but yeah. that's not the case like present being present with yourself and loving yourself is really where that peace lies yeah totally yeah, yeah. you found that so I'm just kind of expounding on it <laughs> absolutely and like the way we think about things creates our universe you it know? does and so we have to watch our thoughts and the way that we're perceiving things because if we think everything's like dark and gloomy and everyone's out to get us and we can't trust anyone that's going to manifest into reality and like yeah. we need to you know not and only I mean, love ourselves but other people even if we wanted to break it down on a very logical level for some people that don't like spirituality it's only logical to assume that if you have any thought process going on up here that you are designating towards certain thoughts that that is just going to 
be more obvious because your mind is already set up to see it because you're thinking about it. Yeah. So absolutely. even if someone's being kind to you, you'll miss that because your mind is thinking something completely different. Yeah. So absolutely. sorry to derail. I'm not trying to uh-huh. um, <laughs> steal the mic, but give me that. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I would like to know what pains you've gone through um, that you felt like really helped you blossom. And because I like to say that with the pain in lies the beauty. Yeah. And so like, what do you feel like you could kind of express that, that really made you feel like that happened um, for you? Some things in my past that were dark. I mean, all throughout my childhood up until like junior high, I was bullied really bad. Like I Whoa. never fit in with, wow. I didn't have very many friends and like It was, like, specifically three boys in elementary school that bullied the shit out of me every day. And, like, the school wouldn't do anything about it. Their parents didn't care. And, like, I just, I was, like, I was basically just, like, fuck you guys. Like, and that's why they picked on me because I wouldn't take it and they thought it was funny. And like, Dude, yeah. Yeah. Because you're a strong, just very naturally strong, willpowered woman. Yeah, I mean, now I am. I feel like, I don't know. You feel like you were before? Mm-hmm. I feel like you, you would have done more than I would have ever done. That's why I'm saying that, because I can compare. Like, I would just would let people step on me, and I'd, I'd go into the bathroom before I would think about standing up for myself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, compared to us, um, compared to me in my life, you are more n- natural at that than I am. So, for sure. You know, and, and people are going to be designed different ways. So, maybe you picked a body that was designed to have just really a lot of talent in that area because I can see it just because I'm a different person but (laughs) maybe that's why I needed to talk about it and share it with you so that you would know like really how powerful it is yeah you know what I mean yeah Yeah. I know I don't know I never really like thought of it that way but yes yeah Mm. Yeah. (laughs) thanks (laughs) but um yeah I don't know and then I, I feel like I'm a really different person than I used to be even like three years ago I totally was like stuck as fuck in my old life I used to live in Spanish Fork and I just like didn't love myself and I didn't know how to like really live at all and I was afraid of being seen and I was just like really miserable and like depressed and um I I don't know some like I really hit rock bottom and I went to follow the the, something told me to go watch the sunrise and I saw the most immaculate (gasps) sunrise and it like it spoke to me and it told me to go to California and so I went to California for a week and I met these hippies on the beach who were like hey we fucking live in our cars and like drive around and like we're free and I'm like oh my god that's what I want yeah I didn't know that's what I wanted because I'd never like seen it yeah. before because I didn't even know that was possible because society tells you it's not but right yeah so I came home and I um was like peace out I'm leaving with no plan no money like nothing I just wow. like traveled around I flew a sign like hey uh just need gas traveling, you know? Yeah. Um, wow, you're making us all want to... Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was awesome. Like, it was, like, uh, not always easy to be out on the road like that, but it yeah. was fucking awesome also, and, like, it changed my life, and I think it's a lot of what has to, like, do... You become so humble in that way, and, like, I think it's a really cool thing to experience. It's not necessarily something I ever want to do again, but... Um, <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and so yeah, I've moved to Salt Lake, and there's amazing people here. And... Yeah, and you're one of them. I mean, um, I also wanted to, and you kind of already went over this. Really, it's interesting how that happens. Um, you obviously follow your heart. So there's gonna be a lot of people that look up to you because that's kind of what we're all trying to figure out. Yeah. You know, and like you've had to go through a lot of stuff to figure it out yourself. But you're now you're like you have this excitement for life that people can see when they meet you, and they. And you, and you bring that to them. Like, you make them feel excited just being around you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I just, I want people to know that they can do anything that they want to do. The first step, I think what people struggle with is they don't know what they want. I think so, too. And so, yeah. that's the hardest part. You just got to, like, really l- reflect and find what you love and find your passions and what drives you and, like, go for it, you know? Yeah. That's the first step to anything, really, so. And I think part of that is that we're kind of told by other people that we want to please because we're, you know, beautiful souls, all of us. We want to love everyone and please them to a fault. And so, we'll take on their perception of what we should be doing. Yep. And that becomes harmful. It I does. think it's kind of simple, right? <laughs> yep. Don't ever let people make you doubt yourself. Hmm. Ever. And that, we're going to end on that note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you I love so you guys. much. <laughs>